first and ten. Here's Carr. Throw left side complete. That's Phillips. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The pickup Gator first down. man complete over the middle that's Phillips they've got another first down the Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now two plays two catches you have a feeling they're going to look for him early and often and that's to be expected you got a player of his caliber why not and I think it's also a message from them to the defense that you're not going to dictate to us what we're going to do with the, one of our better players because so often you hear about defenses saying we're going to take away what you do best in this case, they're going to move him around, find proper matchups, and make sure they continue to funnel the ball to him. And some space here. And he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He'll get three of those penalty yards back here, leaving him with a second and 12. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. From the gun, it's Carr. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And Frank's kick is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Onto the field now come the Bears. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves just that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. They go play action here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. A huge play there for Chicago. 57 yards. Well, he took a shot downfield towards the end zone, and he came up with a big-time catch, but he was tackled a little bit short of the goal line. Now the defensive guys, they got to pick their heads up and try and hold them to a field goal attempt. Now they'll run it on the toss. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. 
And they give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been there. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Well, oh, this is blocked. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 40. He's at the 30. And he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> <Toe bash. laughs> I don't know about Toe that. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> now Carr. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it up, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. So here we go, first and ten now. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. And he rifles one incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Play action. Now Carr. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. An update from Denver. The Broncos have taken the early lead. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. It's a big-time play there for the Bears. 
44 yards. And the offense lining up first and 10. gun Trubisky quick hitter here it's complete and help and he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown good start to the season for him he had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now how about the pace he's already established right not sure he can keep it up for an entire season but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Raiders' offense now, they trot back out. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Second down, here's Carr. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. So the offense has it first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Now Carr throwing on second down. Room to run past midfield. Over the middle complete. It's Phillips. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Car now on first down. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Ten yards still left on second down. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Fake the handoff. Now Carr. Letting one go deep for the end zone. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. The storm windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. On third and long, it's Carr. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. 
Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. And now here's a carry heading left. Finding some room at midfield. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll be brought down at about the 42. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it, because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. On second down, here's Trubisky. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Now it's Trubisky. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now the Raiders' offense, they get set to head back on the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Play action. Now it's Carr. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Carr. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be knocked down sideways at the 24-yard line. Give him a first down. 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Throwing on first down is Carr. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Phillips. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Carr looking to throw on third and two. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, these are going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second down, Trubisky. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Six yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. 
That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. So a minute 56 to play in this first half. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Card out of throw. Throw left side complete. That's Lyons. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Looks to be right around the 40. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. As they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Here's Marquette King now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Taken in at the 11. A good return there, 17 yards, and the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've had a very solid first half, and as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before? Or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here this first half. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Now Trubisky to throw on second. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. His throw caught right around the six. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the five-yard line. A good pickup there of 22. Five yards to go for the offense. First down and goal from that five-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Bears will extend their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. 
He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And yeah, the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's got room. So that will push him back. And now we know why he had a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back. That penalty will move them back. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Car to throw on second down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Raiders on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and six. Throwing his car on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Phillips. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Looking to throw on second down. Carr out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Give him six on the play, and they're going to face a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. The Raiders on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. Carr going to try and throw on third down. And incomplete here on third down. Now we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Six points as it stands. It's a huge return. And they'll have a short field to go as this drive starts on the fringe of the red zone at the 20. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great play there. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Bears add on.
And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. This is fielded at the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But Blitz coming, and down he goes. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. To throw on second down. Carr in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out and fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount, here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. Yeah. It just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Yeah, maybe that extra hut, you know, that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Car to throw on third and one. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Second down following the run. Now they'll run on the draw. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down. The Raiders on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and four. From midfield, here's Carr. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. On is the punter King to send it away. Oh boy, he fielded it right on the goal line. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now a handoff 
half as they run left side. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And 12 yards that time and picking up the first. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Detroit! Detroit! Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Tucker. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Final minute now of the third quarter. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And we'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There's no room to run. Here's Carr to throw. Room here to run. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it third down. The Raiders on third down. They're hitting at just 30% too. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Leonard Floyd. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And there is a flag as he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. But who's this going to be against? So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. First down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. It'll be a gain of six, and it's a second down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. Shift together here from the D-line. Looking to throw on second down. Carr. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. 
But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, he usually gets it done. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make it a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain down to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep winging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. They find some open field here. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. This is a question of who wants it more. Easy to get stuck behind all the big bodies, but you've got to find a space and fight forward for the first down. Neal and a short pick up there down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. So second and goal here from the nine. Again, they run with Neal. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. They come out here in the eye. Defense likely bringing pressure here. Third and goal from the two. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Raiders able to get this back to within at least some measure here of respectability. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, in a very one-sided affair, I think we've reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try and keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us. Stretch. Out a little bit. Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get. A big-time producer. Keep them here. A huge play there for Chicago. 44 yards on the ground. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now they try the right side here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Give him nine on the play, and that is going to set up a third and one. He lost the football. Does the big boy have the juice? And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Well, he's not the starter coming in, getting his first carry off the bench. That's not the way to earn more carries. You have to stay in the game, even if you're not on the field, right? Stay mentally sharp, stay ready. And above all, when you get into the game, hold on to the football. Don't let the other team have it. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Check, 
to throw on second down. Carr. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. it outside but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage officially no gain on the play and it's second down but he was stopped on that play but he's had plenty of carries all afternoon every now and then the defense is going to win one but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game Looking to throw on second down. Carr. Flushed out right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. Meanwhile, in Foxborough, there in the fourth quarter. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. A win would be their second on the young season. To throw on third down. Carr. This will be caught inside the 10. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Carr. This will be caught just inside the 10. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Call it no gain on the play, so no help there. And now fourth and goal. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Chicago, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL.
The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.